I've created a series of tutorials on Focus that show you how to install and use this free AI tool. Today, I want to show you how you can use Focus for Face Swap to create images for AI influencers, storytelling, or any purpose, and give you some tips. I will show you how to use the face of one image and the pose of another image in different ways. Stay with us and don't miss the tips. I want to use face of this image and pose of this one. Run Focus on your computer or in Google Collab. In this method, click on the Image Prompt tab, and here upload the image that you want to use its face. Enable Advanced to see more options. Select Face Swap. See the Stop at option, as a percentage. That shows the number of steps that AI will work on face swapping, and finishes the rest of the steps without working on face swapping. Based on my experience, increasing Stop at, more than 0.9, will improve the similarity. And here Weight shows the face swapping strength. Increase the weight between 0.95 and 1.2, but using higher values can give you strange results. Remember that, you may need to experiment with different values for each image to get the best results. Click on the In Paint or Out Paint tab. Upload the image that you want to use its pose. In In Paint, you need to mask the face of this image, so that the AI knows that it should change this part. It is better to mask the hair as well, because it may mix both images' hair. Also, if the skin tone of the two images is different, it is better to mask the skin of the neck and the body close to it. For long hair, I mask more area, but not the whole dress, because it can change the color of the dress. Using prompt is optional. I use this method without text prompt. Now, go to the Advanced tab. Enable Developer Debug Mode to see more settings. Click on the Control tab. We use Image Prompt and in Paint. So, active mixing image prompt and in paint option. Change the resolution based on the usage of this image. Increase image number to get more results, and select the best one between them. I use Focus Enhance, and Focus Sharp Styles. When using a realistic model, be aware of the style that you are using. For Model and Laura, I use the default ones. Press the Generate button. You can increase weight and check the results. If you want to change the hair color, change the clothes and background, and improve the image you can use in Paint Tool that I showed you in this video. In this method, as in the previous part, upload the source image in the image prompt, select face swap, and increase stop at, and weight. Remove image from in Paint or out Paint. Click on the Upscale and Variation tab. We upload the image that we want to use its pose here. Select the Very Subtle option. Now go to Advanced, Developer Debug Mode, and Control Tab. Disable Mixing Image Prompt and in Paint that we acted in the previous section. Active Mixing Image Prompt and Very Upscale option. I keep the settings the same. I don't use Text Prompt. You can write Text Prompt based on your needs. Edit the result with the in-paint tool if needed. In this method, I use source image and text prompt to style images based on what I said in the text prompt and use the face of the source image. Upload the source image in image prompt and select face swap and increase the stop at and wait as in the previous part. Remove the image from the upscale and variation section. Disable the options that we activated in the previous sections. We don't need them. You can test with other styles. I use the previous settings. Write text prompt. Keep in mind that when writing text prompt in the Stable Diffusion Focus tool, write short phrases, and you don't need to write long sentences.
In the previous section, I used text prompt and source image to use its face. In this section, I will use text prompt, source image, and another image to use its pose with Pyracani. Select Pyracani and increase stop it option. We don't need developer debug mode settings. Write your text prompt. You can fix the defects of your images, change the background, improve and edit your image within Paint Tool. In this tutorial, I showed you some techniques that you can use to get images that are very close to the source image. Keep in mind that, you can increase stop at, and wait to get better results based on your source image. Like, subscribe, and tell me in the comment, with which one you could get better results. Ask your questions in the comment. Stay tuned for more useful videos. Thanks for watching.